that. Yeah, yeah, deep in your warm relax. Excellent. I'm sorry, sorry, I didn't quite I hear that. I didn't quite hear what you just said. Wait a minute. I, I, I don't want to do this. Thing. Okay, well, yeah. it, I, I'm all if you don't want to do it, I am certainly not going to make you do it. I mean, I, I promise you that like, you have the way they. I'm buffering, it's just all weird now. Okay. <laughs> I absolutely do not want you to do anything you don't want to do. However, if you would like to investigate a little bit, I'm not going to humiliate you, embarrass you or anything, but if you'd like to learn a little bit about how your mind works, I, I have a few tests I'd like to show you. It's entirely up to you. Okay. Fair enough? Yeah. And, okay, great. First name again. You have to, <laughs> you have to pardon me. First name again. Sam. Sam, sleep. Wait a <laughs> Five, four, three, two, deeper and deeper. More and more relaxed. Five, four, three, two, one. Loosen the ball down, Sam. Deeper and deeper, more and more relaxed. Would you hold his shoulder for just a second? I gotta go do something. Here we go. Deeper and deeper, more and more relaxed, Sam. In a moment, I want you to clasp your hands together. Clasp them together. Fold them, clasp them together, Sam. Excellent. Now squeeze. That boy, squeeze tight. Tight, 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 tight. Concentrate, Sam. I want you to imagine the hands are fusing, sealing, locking together as if they were carved from a single block of wood. In a moment, I'm going to count backwards from three to one. By the time I reach number one, those hands will feel as if they've been carved from a single block of wood. You can't pull them apart. You can't free them. You can't separate them until I touch your forehead. Three, fusing, sealing, locking together. Two, as if they were fused and sealed, as if they were carved from a single block of wood. One, lock together now, Sam. Try to pull them apart, but they're fused, sealed, locked. You can open your eyes and sit up, but they remain sealed, fused, and locked tightly together until I touch your forehead, and I want you to try. Now, I really want you to try, Sam. I want you to feel it's important. Concentrate, do whatever you need to do, and I want you to observe Sam, who clearly has a degree of resistance. I am not going to violate his wishes or do anything, but, but I did want him to experience that he's doing that. He's got the ability to tell his mind to respond to something that at first may seem to be illogical. Why can't I pull, that's silly, why can't I pull my hands apart? Well, you can't pull your hands apart because you're telling yourself. You're, you have formed an image of your hands locked together as if they've been carved by a piece of wood. As illogical and as silly as that may seem, what if he was fusing his mind on top of the table? What if he fused his mind on a million dollars in commission? What if he fused his mind on a Learjet? It sounds crazy. It's illogical, right? And yet you see it before your very eyes. You're simply seeing a visual representation of what happens when you allow images into your mind and accept imagery and suggestion. Sam, I know you have a degree of resistance, but if you wouldn't mind, would you explain to your cohorts exactly what you feel like? Uh, relaxed and frustrated. And, and, and if at any time you're uncomfortable, let me know. I don't want you feeling uncomfortable. I, I did want to, to give you a demonstration. Try as hard as you can. Interesting sensation though, right? And I can tell by the white knuckles that you seem to be, you know, clearly trying. <laughs> Yet, I do not see your hands coming apart. And the question on the table is, why in the world wouldn't you just pull your hands apart? Uh, yep. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't want you to tell me exact instances, but in your mind, have you had a time in the past year where there was something in business you knew you could accomplish, you know you should have done, could have done, and it was just a part of you that didn't let you do it? Have you ever had that experience? Well, that's coming from there. And if you learn how to tap into that, you can learn to control that. Strange sensation, huh? Yeah, I don't like it. Uh, okay, <laughs> I, I, I do not want you to feel uncomfortable, but you know, I do want to show you something. Look up here for just a second. Watch what happens when I touch your forehead. Beep. Oh. <laughs> I need to talk to my Perry out there. You're, 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 you're just, I, I don't would you look here for just a second, Sam? No. <laughs> My friend, how are you? <laughs> do you think you're hypnotized? No. Wide awake, right? Wide hey, you know, who knows? I mean, take a nice deep breath. You remember what you felt like, though, right? That relaxation. Most people say that when you start talking about it, just how relaxed I was, how I could feel myself sinking, dripping, you know, okay. just settling down into it, that it just happens. That's the beauty of it. There's no effort involved whatsoever. Sleep all the way down. Deeper and more relaxed, deeper and more relaxed. Loosen up. Round of applause for these guys. Hopefully they're teaching you something. All right. I have not opened the floor up for questions at all today. I know I'm kind of overloading you a little bit with that, but, th this, but there are some very simple principles involved here. These folks, somewhere along the line, picked up how to tap into their subconscious minds. I don't know where, but they did it before I walked through the door. 
It might have been through athletics or experiences or a little, they, they may have had an imaginary friend as a child. Somewhere along the line, they opened the door. And that stood out to me with the tests I gave. So now I've got these great subjects. And you can see, they now know how to get into their subconscious mind. And if they tell themselves that their hands are stuck, their hands are stuck. There is so much you can do with this. I, I'll, I will give you another example. But before I do that, are there any questions about what you're seeing so far? Please feel free to ask. Sir. <laughs> I'm not allowed to legally, you know, but I, but, but I tried to teach you how to learn. It's just, just start looking. In other words, most people go through life without even thinking about translate behavior. And once you tune into it, you can't help but see it. And most people in the conversation, you'll see they lose it, they give it, and you start to tune in as to when they're there and when they're not. And, and they're telling you how to sell them. You start talking about this aspect of the product or service, and they go, they're, they're moving around. They're not interested. And then you shift gears a little bit. You start talking about this, and all of a sudden, they're, they're leaning for, oh, that's what, that's what they're interested. I would have thought it would have been this. If you, if you turn your attention away from yourself and toward them, it usually is not difficult to filter these individuals out. Did that answer your question? Yeah. It's, it's essentially, it's a very good question. Is it a gift? Is this something these people were just born with? Or is this something that can be learned? It is generally acknowledged that hypnosis is a learned effect. Uh, famous psychologist Clark Hall said, hypnosis is a habit phenomenon facilitated by practice. Quite simply, the more you do it, the better you get at it. Which is why I keep emphasizing, don't know what these guys did before I found them, but they've been practicing this long before I walked through the door. I don't know how they were doing it. So, however, there are exceptions. Every once in a while you get a person that's just born a good hypnotic subject, just like every once in a while you get a person that picks up a guitar and somehow just knows how to play. They'll sit down in front of a piano and just start making music. There are some people that are just perfect mental matches for it. Want to venture a guess percentage-wise, how many? You know, uh, I mean, keeps coming back to that curve. These folks, my guess is they've learned it. The point being, you can all learn this. This is something that, like any other skill or technique, some are going to be better than others, but you can all learn it to a certain degree. Now, what are the advantages to it? Well, let's see what the advantages are. Producer or, yes, great producer? Recruiter. Recruiter? Oh, okay. Deeper, deeper, more, more relaxed, deeper, deeper in a moment. Only the person whose shoulder I'm touching. I'm going to count from one to five. When I reach number five, your eyes are going to pop over, open. All of you are going to wake up, but only the person whose shoulder I'm touching. You're going to have an idea that's just fantastic. You're going to recruit the guy who's running my camera, that gentleman from South um, Korea. You're going to see him uh, recruit, and you're going to recruit the heck out of him. You're simply not going to let him leave the room until he's recruited. You are a recruiting machine at the count of five. You're going to recruit. His name is Gabriel. You know. You just look at him and realize this guy's the perfect recruit, and you're going to recruit him in five minutes or less. You are a recruiting machine at the count of five. Everybody, eyes wide open, wide awake, the count of five. One, two, three, five. Oh, wide awake. So, I have not embarrassed you, have I? You're, are, are you, I don't know, you're embarrassed or not. Are you comfortable? Are you embarrassed? No, I'm good. You're good. Um, where's my friend? Gabe, how's the camera? Is the camera running? Do you, do you, have you ever met my friend Gabe yet? His name's Gabriel Dai. He's from South Korea. I just see Ben. Sorry, I want to Did you? Oh, I was looking at Aaron. Uh, Stand up for a second, would you, Gabe? Come on, come on up here. Say, I want to personally introduce you. He's a good friend of mine. Yeah, Korean. South Korean. Korean, yeah. Korean. And, from South Korea. <laughs> do you think he, he's not Korean? He's, he's, what are you doing over there? Over here, I'm over here. No, over in Korea. Over in Korea. You don't have to stay up here. You can go talk to him if you want. Feel free. You can come back. I'm, I'm, I have one. You, no, no, I have a wife. Oh, geez. he has a wife too, for the record. But <laughs> we all have wives. Uh, Gabe, you want to come up here for a second? You want to talk to Gabe for a few seconds? You can sit next to each other. You can have a conversation. Just have a conversation. I understand you're the recruiter. Somebody told yeah. me you were an incredible recruiter. I dabble in that. You dabble in it? Well, you want to talk to Gabe for a few minutes? Feel free. Was he looking? Uh, he was thinking. Why don't you? Why don't you find out? You're the recruiter, right? In front of everyone. Sit over there. Have a private conversation. Yeah, just go do it. Come on, it's our first time. It's our first date. Why do we keep coming back to that theme? <laughs> where, where is that coming from? Would you, would you like to? You don't have to. Yeah, I mean, are you? Yeah, I have nothing more time right now. Are you a good recruiter or not? Me? If you were oh, recruiting yeah, I him. Get, I could get him. Yeah. Oh, you think so? <laughs> I mean, I, mean, I want to see it. I want to see it. Acting career or like starting, you know, try to be a little. I want to see it. Right here, okay. Right here, right now, you're the man. Yeah, okay. Sleep. Wait a minute. 
listen to this little bit. Squeeze. Tight, 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 tight. Stuck until I touch your heart. Oh, eyes wide open. How you doing? Good. Are you hypnotized? Yeah. Wide awake? Wide awake. Sure about that? Positive. Right hand up in the air? Right hand up in the air. Left hand up in the air. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Try harder. <laughs> Give you an advantage. See if you can pry it off. See if you can get off. No. I dare say yes. You say day yes? I dare say you are hypnotized. No. Uh, <laughs> well, obviously it, looks that way. it obviously looks that way, right. But you don't think you're hypnotized, right? I guess I might, must be. Well, let me see you pull your hand apart then. Let's see. Come on. It's not a very simple kind of a test. It's not that common. You're sure of that, right? And you're definitely not hypnotized, right? No. Yeah, I guess I am. Eyes will kind of five, you can let go of your tie, but you can't say a single solitary word. Marbles in your mouth, can't talk until I touch your forehead. Marbles in your mouth, point your oh, eyes wide open. Yeah, okay, we're all better now, right? Are you hypnotized? Are you hypnotized? You're not, George, where do you live? Relative to where we are now. Here in town? Where do you live? <laughs> what town do you live in? What state do you live in? Come on. I'll give, you, I'll give you 50 bucks if you tell me what state you live in. I'll give you 100 bucks if you tell me what state you live in. Come on. 100 bucks if you tell me what state you live in. You don't know what state you live in? What country are we in? This might break through. Who's the president? <laughs> yeah, that, that one might get in. Are you, are you hypnotized? Come on, I really want to hear you say something. Remember I said the buying signal? Remember I said what to look for when you're talking to a client? Do you remember all the signals I told you about? Do you? That's it. You see it? How you doing? Are you hypnotized? Be honest. Come on. Tell me the truth. Are you hypnotized? Just very relaxed. Just very relaxed, but not necessarily hypnotized. Are you, you're not a betting person. I think we already cleared that, right? No. Uh, if, if we made like a friendly bet, would you bet you were or that you were not hypnotized? I'm, I'm just curious. We're not friends. How could okay, we we're not friends. friends. We, can't make a, we can make a friendly bet. There's a difference between friendly and friends, don't you think? Watch out. I'll turn you into the dog. I won't. <laughs> 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 to count of five, eyes pop open. First thing you realize, Rick St. Jean is by far the most amazing leader you have ever met in your life. You've simply never met a leader quite as inspiring or amazing. You're going to feel a real need to tell him just how amazing he is. In fact, you're going to want to get up and give him a great big hug to show him just how incredible this guy is. And you just won't shut up about it. Most amazing leader you've ever met in your life. The count of five, one, two, three, five. Oh, eyes wide open. Whoa, welcome back. So you doing okay now? Yeah, fine. Are you wide awake? I feel a little drowsy. Yeah. A little, a little drowsy? Yeah. Why do we wait, 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 okay. uh, Your buddy, I'm sorry, your leader, Rick, is over there. He's very talented. He's very talented. I know he's a great recruiter. He's a recruiter. A bunch of people. Look at them all. Look at them all, yeah. You can tell them if you want to. I really do. You can get up and show them if you want. Here we go. Run the camera. <laughs> Oh, that's just that's beautiful. This is beautiful. Could, could I bring you to a... You can keep talking. Could I bring you... A, you start Monday. <laughs> Say hello to your new producer. Could you both come over here for just a second? No, no, no. Come on over here. He's not... Gabe, he is not done with you. You want to come and see this, right? Well, here you are. Okay. Look at me for a second. Sleep way down deep. Sleep loosening all that deep sleep. Over nine, five, four, three, two, one, deep sleep. Count of five. Now you continue. Get over here. You continue with your recruiting. Five times more intense than you were just a few seconds ago. This time, however, you do it in Martian. You speak Martian fluently. You are going to recruit him in the Martian language. You speak Martian to the count of five and recruit him in Martian. One, two, three, four, five. Eyes wide open. Whoa. You were working with Gabe over there, helping him recruit. You can continue. I didn't mean to interrupt. I just wanted to relax you a little bit. Don't mind going over there. So, oh, what? Tell me, what is it? I'm listening. What do you want? 
You have my attention. You got my attention. What can I do to help? I'm listening. What is it? Nothing? Now, we were having a conversation. Are you hypnotized? I think so. And your name is? Why do we? Go ahead. George. Thanks, George. <laughs> Round of applause for George. <laughs> do you have a microphone for my Martian buddy over here? Yeah, you were telling me how you do we have a live mic? Yeah, it's going in the You're not crying, are you? No. Okay, good, you're better. But I do want to hear you say it. I want, I want to hear, explain to him because he understands Martian fluently. He truly does. Korean and Martian. Korean and Martian. Same thing, by the way. Uh, <laughs> if you've heard Korean, it's the same thing. Uh, we'll give him a second to collect his thoughts. And you're with us? Yes. Good. Now, when you could not pull your hand off of you, you, no, your tie. Yes. What's he saying? He said he couldn't think of anything to say. You can't think of anything to say to recruit someone, and you're the recruiter. Did I just hear that correctly? Did I hear it? Oh, very good. What's that? I said, start with Anyong Haseo. That's hello in Korean, Anyong Haseo. Do, do you speak, <laughs> other than that, do you speak Korean? That's just about it? A bit, so. Oh, that's kind of excellent. Wu Yong Yi Wa Cha Dong Cha. That's a joke. Wu Yong Yi Wa Cha Dong Cha. It's a nonsense. It uh, means a uh, cat with a car. Uh, all right, all right, all right. You're wrecking my whole act here. That's Martian, for Christ's sake. You invited me up. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. It's true. Do you speak Martian? No. You, are you sure? Yes. Sleep. Wait. At the count of five, you indeed do speak Martian. You speak it fluently. Ten times more fluent than you ever spoke Korean. You speak Martian at the count of five. And you and Gabe, he speaks Martian, too. You can have a conversation with him. You have eyes wide open. Do you speak Martian? Me. Does that... <laughs> Step over here. Bah. Bah. Sound. No, sure. Oh, yeah. You wanted to do this, right? Yeah. Oh, I wanted to stand over there. <laughs> Would you, uh, you know, I have trouble sometimes communicating with him. He speaks Korean. He also speaks Martian. I speak neither. You speak Martian, correct? Would you ask him in Martian what part of Seoul he lives in? <laughs> ask him, not me. Would you ask him what part of the city of Seoul he lives in? and see if you can get his address, because I can't get his address to mail him stuff. But I can get him. <laughs> I, I, Ask him. You. Martians communicate telepathically. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that's, that's clever as hell. That's <laughs> well, go for it. You know, let's see. Go ahead. Telepathically communicate and tell me what he sends you. The western part of Seoul. No, 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 no. Send it to him telepathically now. All right, you send him the question and tell me what he sends back. He's lying. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> he lives on Jeju Island. He does? Well, why would he uh, telepathically ask him what prompted him to lie? He's nervous in front of crowds. Oh. He's an actor. He performs. Actors are the most insecure people. On well, earth. there it is. <laughs> there it is. Uh, if you don't mind, ask they him. They spend their lives getting rejected and pretending to be someone else. <laughs> I feel like you know me so intimately. Something like producers? No, I'm just saying that, that was a bad joke. All right, would you do me a favor and telepathically ask him how long he's planning to stay and when he's going back because I'm, I'm contemplating whether we're going to be able to have dinner or something. Going back tomorrow afternoon. What time? 4.15. Well, that's just darn amazing. And all the years I've been doing this, no one has ever said I do it telepathically. I got to admit, that is a unique answer. That's a first. That's a first. It is honestly very, very clever. Hey, give this guy a round of applause. He's just beautiful. He's just beautiful. <laughs> no, I don't mean to torture you like this. Uh, but the question is. My pleasure. Uh, is he hypnotized? Now, he says that you two can telepathically communicate, right? Yeah. Uh, what I want you to do is take a second, and I want you to telepathically communicate the word sleep to him. Gotcha. Okay. Good. <laughs> Good shot. <laughs> Not your first time. Not your first time. Round of applause for these guys. They're all excellent. Eyes wait, 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 w
You're good? Good meaning you're still up here or good meaning you're running? I'll be right there in a second. Okay, you take as long as you need. All right, coll collecting your thoughts or trying to sort out the Martian. There you go. All right, hopefully I've made the point. The point being that when you form these images in your mind, you act them out. So if you see yourself as a high producer, you act like one. And it's just a different way in which you carry yourself. You see the person's expressions change, their body language change. If you ask them to assume an identity, it, they assume it better than sometimes than some really talented actors. And if you carry that imagery into your sales situation, you are the winner, you are in control of it, you are the high producer, it influences in a very subtle way the way people see you, feel about you, and ultimately communicate. It's just a simple, powerful tool that you can learn to use to improve your business and sales performance. These guys have all been wonderful. I can show you a variety of different phenomena, simple things like memory. For example, what was your favorite subject in school, if you don't mind me asking? History. History. Your favorite subject in school. Math. Yeah. Really? Excellent. <laughs> come here, come here. I won't touch you. I, I will not touch you. I'll tell you what. I won't touch you. I thought you said you were game. You don't have to be a... I, I will not touch you. I promise. Hey, George. Pardon? I'll, I'll sign him over. <laughs> Sit back in your chair. Look at me for just a second. Look over. I'm not going to touch you, I swear. There you go. All the way down. Only person in the shoulder I'm touching deeper and deeper, more and more. Kind of five, you open your eyes, eyes pop open, you'll find you can't find the number six. No matter how hard you try, number six does not exist. It's erased from your mind until I touch your forehead. Number six is gone at the count of five. Only the person in the shoulder I'm touching deeper, 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 more and more. Relax. count of five. When your eyes pop open, the first thing you realize, you can't remember who the first president of the United States was. Can't remember who the first president of the United States was erased from your mind until I touch your forehead. Eyes wide open, count of five. One, two, three, five. Oh, eyes wide open. Demonstration a little bit of memory. Favorite uh, subject was math, any particular kind of math, statistics, calculus, just good no, at math. No. Oh, yeah, you must, excellent. Then you, you must have liked the bell curve sort of thing, right? Sure. And, and certainly you must be able to count from 1 to 10. I mean, yes. uh, uh, question, how much is 5 plus 1? <laughs> George, how much is 5 plus 1? All right, all right, we'll make it simpler. How much is 3 plus 3? All right, we'll make it even simpler. You can count to 10 on your fingers, right? Would you count from 1 to 10 for me on your fingers? Take as long as you need. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10. <laughs> Missed one. Missed one. <laughs> <laughs> Missed one. Well, 3 plus 3 is? 6. Hey, I got a question for you. Who's on a $1 bill? No, 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 look in. No, 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 no. Who's on the $1 bill? All right, different question. Who's the founding father? Who crossed the... Shit. Yeah, come on. <laughs> First president of the United States was... Um, cross, cross the uh, at Trenton, cross the Delaware River. America, we tack on Christmas, okay? okay. <laughs> the, Hessians. the Hessians, sneak across the river, right. Who was that? Commander of the Army... You know you know. Who's on the one dollar bill? Oh, I happen to have a one dollar bill. Try to make it easy for you. Who's on the one dollar bill? <coughs> Come on, who's on the one dollar bill? Bad vision? Who's on the one dollar bill? So you've seen with the ability to focus and manipulate imagery. Where's the name on this? <laughs> <laughs> It, it, it is, they are astounding. I cherry-picked. I went after the better-than-average subjects out of a group of 100 or more. You're very likely to find at least 2.14% that are phenomenal. 
which is precisely what we found here today. They were kind enough to volunteer. They're doing demonstrations showing you that when you visualize something and can you get it into your subconscious, it actually brings about changes, and that's the message. Now, statistically, most of you will be average subjects by definition, which means most of you should expect to practice this for at least a couple of weeks. I've given you the link that'll do it for you, but it does work, it does have an effect. I'm going to put these guys to sleep for one more time, wake them up, and we're gonna call it a day. Everybody up here wide awake and feel good? Feel good? Would you look at me for just a second, please? Beautiful, excellent, sleep! Wait, you don't need five, four, three, deep, deep, all the way in five, four, three, two, I got them, one, oh, and then deeper and deeper, more and more relaxed. Sleep, loosen, 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 all the way down. Excellent. First thing I'm going to do is remove all the suggestions you've had while you're up here. I'm going to count slowly backwards from five to one. As I count backwards, remain deeply relaxed, deeply asleep. But by the time I reach number one, every suggestion I gave while you're up here is erased. Everything's back to normal, but still very, very deep asleep by the time I reach number one. Five, all the suggestions erased. Four, back to normal. Three, deeper and deeper. Two, and one. All the suggestions are gone now. Excellent. I'm going to give you one last suggestion. Most important thing I'm going to say all day, so please listen carefully. From this moment forward, you and you alone are in complete and total control of the state of mind that you are in. You're going to be able to return to this state of mind whenever you want, wherever you want, and you're going to be able to give yourself suggestions that are every bit as powerful as any suggestions that I could ever give to you. You control this state of mind from this moment forward, which means if you wanted to, you could download that sound file. You could listen to it. It would take you back into this state of mind. There's a space in the middle of that sound file where you can give yourself positive suggestions, and you can give yourself any positive, productive suggestions you wish. The file will wake you up at the end. You'll be awake, alert, refreshed, but that suggestion that you gave yourself will go right into your subconscious mind. You give yourself these suggestions from this moment forward, and you completely control them. In a moment, I'm going to count from one to five. At the count of five, you'll awaken, and you're going to feel wonderful, rested, refreshed, invigorated. In fact, you're going to feel better than you felt in weeks. Eyes wide open at the count of five. One, arms and legs beginning to wake up. You're waking up, starting to feel good. Two, your mind and your body are waking up. Your thoughts are clearing. Three, you feel relaxed, but refreshed and invigorated. Eyes opening wide, sitting up straight in the chair, waking, waking, waking. Four, waking totally wide awake, refreshed, relaxed, and invigorated. All the way up to number five. And all this applause is for you guys. Have a seat there. Um, I, I was having so much fun. We went quite a bit beyond my time. I apologize for that. I do want to take a moment and thank Rick for having me. Uh, wonderful agency. Obviously, living the dream. You guys are great. I expect all of you to do great things in 2019. Uh, I'm all over the internet. If you want to call and ask any questions, if there's any way I can help any of you, don't hesitate. Don't be shy. I've got an 800 number. Call me. I'll answer any question, guide you in any way I, I can. And I obviously would do anything I possibly could to help any of Rick's people succeed. It has been a pleasure being here with you. I want to again thank these folks for being so kind to volunteer. Hopefully they shared some information with you. And I hope to see you all again really, really soon. Thank you very much. Just great. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. You were great. Thanks a lot, George. Oh, <laughs> you're taller back.